Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the ASUS ROG2. Now you can pick this up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price I paid for this one, 700 bucks. Now you can get it cheaper depending on which storage version you get. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now on a side note, when you listen into these specs, Think about some of the other Android phones that cost a thousand bucks and you'll understand why I think this might be the best deal of the year. Now this phone is GSM only. So if you got AT&T or T-Mobile, you're good to go. If you got Sprint or Verizon, you asked out. Comes in two different colors. You got matte black and glossy black. For the display, you got a 6.6 .6 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. Now that's 391 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 6, HDR10 and a 120 Hertz refresh rate. I repeat 120 Hertz refresh rate. Now think about that for a second the pixel the one plus you got 90 Hertz refresh rate Galaxy Note 10 60 Hertz refresh rate The only other phone that I got that has a 120 Hertz refresh rate is the Razer phone 2 and this phone is killing that one For the processor you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 plus with the Adreno 640 GPU what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now it's running Android 9 VIP with the ROG UI skin on top. It comes with either 8 or 12 gigs of RAM, 128, 256, 512, or 1 terabyte worth of storage. Now 1 terabyte, that's more than you probably got on your laptop and your PS4. For the battery, you got a 6,000 milliamp battery that features 30 watt fast charging via Quick Charge 4.0. I repeat, 6,000 milliamp battery. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a dual setup. So you got a 48 megapixel and a 13 megapixel lens. And on the front, you got a 24 megapixel camera. Now you also got Bluetooth 5.0. You got NFC, two USB Type-C charging slots. You got an always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, dual speakers with DTSX and dual amps. You got ultrasonic triggers. You got 24-bit high-res audio. You got dual surround vibration. You got your aeroactive cooling system, RGB lights, and a notification LED. Not to mention a headphone jack. All right, so what's missing? No IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant. No quad HD display, no expandable memory, and no wireless charge. Now, like I said, I paid 700 bucks for this one, but the cheapest one that I seen was 600 bucks. So all of those specs for 600 bucks, like I said, this might be the deal of the year. All right, so let's unbox this and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White Shoes, I love my calm white. down. All right, here we go, Asus ROG2. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to check this one out, so let's check it out. Got Spider-Man on deck. Here we go. Rah. Okay, let's see what you get inside. Nice black box, ROG branding. Okay. There's your SIM ejection tool. Now, you get a case. Let's see what kind of case this is. Okay, not a gel skin case. Just a hard plastic case. No razivity on this one. We'll check it out in a minute. Got your usual books and shit. Pluck them, follow them to the side. This is gonna be your device. Let's see anything else in here. Okay. Here's your 30 watt fast charging brick. USB type C charging cable. And that's pretty much it. All right, so no headphones on this one. Okay, here we go, ROG2. Now let's get these stickers out of here. Shoes, don't go nowhere. I'm, all right, all right. Shoes, all right, shoes is so smart. She knew that the smell test was coming. I wasn't gonna do it, but we might as well. Let's do the smell test on this one. Mm! This one smells like gaming right here, all right? If you're looking for a gaming phone, this is it. Look at this phone right here. 600 bucks, all the way up to 800, depending on your storage version. Check this out. Now that's full RGB lights in the back. Let's see. Power button on one side. See if we got any juice. Okay, is that the power button? <laughs> All right, maybe I got no juice on this one. All right, we'll, we'll charge it up for a second. Oh, there it is. All right, battery's dead. All right, so you got volume up and down. On the front, dual speakers. 
with individual amps on each speaker. Now you got your vibration engine, so this should have nice haptic feedback. On the bottom, headphone jack, headphone jack Apple, Samsung, Google, headphone jack, keep it alive, USB Type-C charging slot, not to mention, you also have another USB Type-C, I gotta pull this off, let's see, can I get it with my nail? All right, well, I'll show you in a minute, there's another USB Type-C charging slot right here, so this way you can plug in your accessories, on the top you got some mics, and that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video, I'll plug this in, let it charge up, then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we'll be back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, got everything all set up, and I'm gonna try not to sound like a hype beast, but on a scale of one to 10, this phone is a major, major, major go. Now, remember when I reviewed the Red Magic 3? I told y'all that I'm not heavy into gaming, so I don't really care about gaming phones. I was gonna buy this one, review it, and sell it to one of my subscribers, but after using it for a couple of hours, I'm officially keeping this phone. This phone is mind blowing. And one of the reasons why it's mind blowing is the speakers. Even if you're not heavy into gaming, you like watching media on your phone, the speakers on this phone are gonna blow you away. Now I got a thousand phones that have front facing dual speakers with DTSX sound. All right, Red Magic 3, Razer Phone 2, just to name a few. All of those have dope speakers, but I've never heard any speakers that sound as good as these. So even if I wasn't planning on gaming, I would keep this phone just for the speakers. Watching YouTube videos, Netflix, Amazon Prime, it's mind blowing. And not to mention, this is one of those phones that even if you don't like gaming on the phone, it might make you change your mind. Now I downloaded a few games, I started playing them for a little while, I might officially become a phone gamer. Let's break it down. First things first, the build quality. Now y'all know I gotta say it, feels so good in the hands, ladies, you know the procedures. Check out the back, you see that RGB light? Y'all know I'm all about that RGB lifestyle. That's tough. All right, you got a, a little vent right here because this does have the cooling system. So you got a fan, there's your real life vent. You got Gorilla Glass 6 on the front, glass on the back, and the aluminum frame. Now this phone has an extra heavyweight feel to it. Keep in mind, you got a 6,000 milliamp battery, one of the biggest on the market. So it's gonna give you that extra weight. So if you like these big, heavyweight, manly feeling phones, you're gonna love this one. Headphone jack. USB Type-C charging on the bottom, and check this out. USB Type-C charging on the side. What does that mean? So now when you're gaming all day on your phone, you can have it plugged in from the bottom instead of from the side where it's messing up your hand. Plug it in from the bottom, game all day. Not to mention, you got your triggers on the top. All right, these are touch sensitive. All right, so if you're really into Fortnite or PUBG, one of those games where you need four fingers, you got your two thumbs for on screen, two triggers. That's pretty sick. Now I am loving the look of this phone. Now it's not gonna be for everybody. All right, now some people are gonna say it kinda has that, you know, that nerd look to the back, too much stuff going on. Look at the Razer phone. Now this is also a gaming phone, but it has more of a sleek look. So some people might like this one better. You still got your RGB in effect. With the Red Magic, this one has that, you see like the, the holes on the top, you got RGB on this one too. This one is a little bit over the top with the back but I still like it. But this is the perfect mix of sleekness and gamer style, <laughs> gamer style with RGB in the middle. Bro, I am loving this phone. Right, I'm loving this. Now in the front, check this out. Always on display. All right, that's one of the things on my checklist. Always on display. You got on-screen fingerprint sensor. So there's a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. You got your on-screen fingerprint sensor. Now it's optic. It's not the fastest in the world, but it does work. It's just a little, not one plus status, but it does work. But the part that you're gonna like the best, face unlock. Check this out. Bang, watch this. Bang. Now, one of the things that I always gotta check with face unlock after this whole pixel situation, can you open this with your eyes closed? Let's try it. Okay, so that's my eyes open. Now I got my eyes closed. Nothing. Let's open one eye. 
Okay, one eye it opens. Let's try the left eye. Opens with the left eye. Now I got both eyes closed again. Let me open them up. Bang. All right, so you can't open with your eyes closed. You can open with one eye. So if you sleep one eye open, <laughs> scumbags, watch out. Face unlock is nice and fast, super responsive. And again, let's try that fingerprint sensor. It's not bad. It's just not one plus status. Next, the display. Now, one thing about this phone, the 120 hertz refresh rate, you're going to feel that immediately. This phone just feels super smooth. It feels like butter. Right, you take a hot knife and you cut it through butter. And you see how smooth, that smooth cut? That's how it feels when you're scrolling on this. It's amazing. Right? It's amazing. I love this. Now, let me turn my hype beast levels down. Let's get a little wipe down for the dramatic effect. Boom. Now, I got this on max brightness. Let's go through some of the toggles. This phone has so many toggles and so many customizations. Yo, for 700 bucks, this is a total win. Now, let's go through some of them real quick. Now, you got your basic toggles. We don't need to talk about those. But you do got screen record and screenshot. You got X mode. All right, so if you turn on X mode, you notice how everything turned red. Watch, I'll turn it off again and do it and do it one more time. All right, keep your eye on the icons on the bottom. All right, so I'm going to turn on X mode. You see everything just turned red. That's going to be your gaming mode. So if you hit the settings on that one. Yo, do you hear these speakers? Wait till I do a speaker test. All right, so here's your gaming mode. Activate X mode. So you got your game library. You got all your console settings. So you got your GPU, CPU. You got your memory, storage. You got Game Genie, you can set up your air triggers, you got your fan speed, and your system lighting. All right, so if you hit advance, take it over to system lighting. I'll, I'll do that later. Matter of fact, I'll cre create my group later. Let's go to system lighting one more time. All right, so let's go to uh, atmospheric lighting. Matter of fact, we'll turn that on. I just want to show you all something real quick. Where was we? Uh, let's go to X mode color cycle. All right, here it is. Now, you can change all of the different color cycles, change the brightness, the rate, and this is how it's gonna look on the back once you start playing with it. Sick, all right? So that's your game game mode settings. Let's exit out of that. Let's go back to the toggles. Let's see anything else. Okay, so of course you got FM radio, you got NFC, you got audio wizard. So when you click on audio wizard, change all of the settings to have your custom sound. So you can have it on normal, pop, rock, vocal, Adjust the volume, DTS-X. All right, let's, switch, let's keep it going. Let's see if there's, there's your air triggers, system lighting, multi-windows, all right? So you can do split-screen multitasking. You can change your refresh rate right from a toggle. So you see right now I got it on 120. So now if I wanted to save battery, put it on 60. Put it on 90. But you paid for it, might as well rock it on 120. Plus you got a 6,000 milliamp battery. The chances of you killing that in one day is basically impossible. Let's see, you got screencast, you got outdoor mode. So if you put on outdoor mode, the speakers actually get louder, but you lose a little bit more quality. One-handed mode, you got your different battery modes. And that's pretty much it. Let's take it over to settings. Okay, so real quick, you got your VPNs and your private DNS. Like I said, it's GSM only. Bluetooth and NFC, you got screencast. Let's go to sounds and vibrations. Check this out. Now, I'll play a video. This video might, might not even do it justice on how crazy these speakers sound. And like I said, throw everything else out the window. I would keep this just for the speakers alone. I was watching a Mortal Kombat tournament on YouTube using this phone. Yo, it felt like I was watching it off of a TV with a real system. It's hard to explain. Call volume, leave that on max. Audio wizard, we already went through all of that. Okay, vibration intensity. Now, another thing. This phone has one of the best heptic engines. Now, before that, I thought it was Red Magic. Red Magic, you know, this phone, when you're typing on the phone or you're playing a game and the phone vibrates, you really feel it with the Red Magic. You feel it even more with the Asus. The vibration engine on this is intense. Let's see, uh, storage and memory. Now, I'm kind of mad that I went for 128 gigs because I didn't think I was going to keep this and I didn't think I was going to be gaming like that. I should have got 512 because I'm about to start downloading mad games 12 gigs of RAM, this is crazy. Let's go to our battery, more than 28% battery with more than two days remaining. 
Now we'll say this. I had I had it plugged into the quick charger. It took me about maybe 45 minutes to charge it from zero when I unboxed it to what it's at now, almost 30%. So this is not going to be the fastest charge in the world, but 6,000 milliamps, keep in mind, it's like charging two of your regular phones together. Okay, so you got screen on time, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to display. Okay, this is max brightness. You got adaptive brightness. Turn that on if you want. You can change your temperature. You can change your modes. I played with all, all of the different ones. So far, I think cinematic is the best. Exit out of that. Sleep, we'll leave that. You got your dark mode. Refresh rate, 60, 90, 120. 120, the big boy. Let's see, now if you want system navigation, you can have your swipe gestures, or you can have your classic three Android buttons. You got your always on display. I don't know if y'all seen that, I'll show y'all one more time. That's how it looks. Face unlock, bang. You got, you got your shortcuts, you got lift to check your phone, so when you lift it, it'll awake the display. Same thing, new notifications, it'll briefly awake the display. You got a screensaver, and you can change the light management. Let's go to uh, security. So face unlock, fingerprint sensor, you got smart lock. Let's go to uh, advanced. Okay, so you got Game Genie, you got twin apps. So if you got two WhatsApps or two Facebooks, rock them at the same time. Screen recorder, screenshot, you can change all of the properties. So from your screen recorder, if you want, you can change the resolution. If you want to lower it or you can hire it, you can have external audio. Screenshot, you got pocket mode and glove mode. Let's go to accessibility. If you're hearing or visually impaired, all of the settings on deck. Got your digital well-being, Google services, system, and support. Pretty much it. Now, let me pull up a video real quick so y'all can see this display and listen to these speakers. All right, so before I show y'all my usual test video, here's the Mortal Kombat video I was just watching. Check this out. It's hard to hear it on camera, but you hear those knife blades. Oh, this is incredible. All right, check this out. All right, so here's my regular test video. Now here's how your music is gonna sound. I'm not exaggerating. These are the best speakers that I heard yet from any phone. Crystal clear. You can hear the DTSX. So you can hear certain instruments coming from the left, certain coming from the right. This is sick. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to Amazon.com. There it is. Let's check our split screen multitasking. Try YouTube on the bottom. Just like that. Now we can exit out of this. Now, check out all, how many apps I got open in the back. Still running nice and smooth. You can clear all at the same time. Now, let's take it over to the camera. This is basically the same camera that you're gonna find in your Asus Zenfone 6. Now, I know what you're thinking. 48 megapixels is probably one of the best cameras out. No, all right, the camera is just gonna be decent. Like I always say, don't let the 48 megapixels fool you on, on paper. In the real world, it's not that great. Now, it's not trash, but it's not the best. Let's go through some of the different modes. You got time lapse. You got slow motion. Motion tracking. Video. All right, let's go to settings for the video. All right, so video quality. You got 4K, 60 frames per second. Change the different formats if you want. Exit out of that. Photos. Let's go to settings. Okay, so you got 48 megapixels or 12. I'll just leave it on 12. I'll do tests with both though. You got portrait mode, panoramic, you got night mode, and pro mode. All right, now let me show you something real quick. In regular photos, you got wide angle mode, 
and regular. Now, of course, you got HDR. You got your, all your different filters. Let me show you a quick photo that I took. Check this one out. Like I said, it's not bad. I'll show y'all some test photos. That's a portrait mode shot. Let me show you a regular shot. Check this out. Not bad at all. Matter of fact, take a look at these test pictures and videos. All right, so now let's get into a little bit of gaming. All right, so we're gonna activate X mode, and I have a game that supports 120 hertz refresh rate, Ace Force Combat. All right, so we'll open this one up. Okay, enter a name. Let me set this up. Okay, so here we go. Now check this out. This is 120 hertz refresh rate. Okay, missile warning, hold up. Oh, I got, did I get out of here? All right, hold up. Now, I, this is my first time playing this. All right, here we go. Okay, we got missiles. Y'all hear that sound? Oh, this is sick. All right, let's see. All right, so let's try, let's try to find some, oh, there it is. Okay, hold up. Got him. Oh, I, I, did I get him? Let's go. Okay. Got him. Missile warning. Hold up. Oh, I got, I got, I got, I got. I right, hold up. Oh, hold up. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me get, let me get focused. All right, listen. Let's follow the arrows. I can't wait to start playing this for real, though. But look how smooth this is. All right, new enemy coming. Where you at? This a warning? Oh, how did I do that earlier? I forgot how I did the barrel roll. All right, well, you see it for yourself, though. I know. Let me calm down. Oh, I, I, I need one more kill. I need one more kill. There it is. Let's get one more kill. Got him. Oh, yeah, it's locked. Missile locked. Boom. Let's go. Got him. All right, let's <laughs> see for yourself. All right, let me calm down. Let me calm down. All right, let's try one more game real quick. One more game. All right, now check this out. When you're in game mode, you swipe over. 
you have some more controls all right so you can see your frame rate you can lock your brightness you got data only you can set it to no alerts no phone calls no interruptions set up your triggers do whatever you want all right so let me start this up okay here we go asphalt nine position three or better all right, that should be guaranteed here we go Yeah, they got me in the bitsy. All right, let's go. Okay, tap and hold the drift. All right. Tap and hold the drift. Okay, there it is. Oh, just like that. Oh, okay, let's go. Nah, buddy. Oh, he took the he took the ramp. He took the ramp. Oh, I tried to go for the jump. All right, let's see, let's see. How do I do this? How do I do this? What position am I in? Somebody talk to me. Where we at? Where we at? All right, number one, number one. <laughs> let's go. All right. Let me wrap this up. Do y'all hear those speakers though? I mean, look at this. Do y'all hear those speakers? I mean, it's, it's just incredible. Let me wrap this up. All right, so just in case you was wondering, here's how it's gonna look with the case. Just a hard shell, no razivity for the sides, but it will protect the back. You see the RGB lights? Now keep this in mind. You also have a notification LED on the front. So if you got your phone like this, get your notifications from the LED and you're always on display. And if you got a face down on the table, you can set this up for notifications also. Now you can plug it in from the bottom. There's your charge. And you can charge it from the side. Rock out just like that. This is a go. All right, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the Asus ROG2 a major, major, major go. If you're looking for the best gaming phone out, this is it. Now, say you don't care about gaming and you're just looking for a beast mode Android phone, y'all need to check this one out. You're getting a big, beautiful AMOLED display. You got an always on display. You got that crazy fast face unlock and an on-screen fingerprint sensor. You got the latest Snapdragon processor and GPU. You could get the max configuration available on any cell phone. 12 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage, that's the max. You got the 120 hertz refresh rate, that's the max. You got a 6,000 milliamp battery that features quick charge 4.0, that's insane. And you got the best sounding speakers that you're gonna hear on any phone. Now, if you're heavy into gaming, you also got game mode. You got dual USB type C charging slots. You got your game triggers. You got a headphone jack that features high res audio. You got your cooling system. You got a fan that you can turn on and off at your leisure. And for the effects, you got the RGB lights. This is a major, major, major go. Now, if I had to gripe, my only complaints would be no IP rating, so it's not water resistant, no wireless charge. You'll find that on the Razer phone. No expandable memory, but if you get one terabyte, you're not gonna need that. And the camera. The camera's just okay, not the best camera in the world. But for the price, this is a steal. All right, this might be the best deal of the year. Now, if I had to rate the gaming phones that I got, number one, ROG2, number two, Red Magic 3S, and number three, Razer Phone 2. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. 
fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock one to beam up. Energize. We're in a situation where everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're going to buy some of that technology, you got to understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.